the Mueller Breslau's principle states that if an internal force component or a reaction component with its corresponding restraint removed is considered to act through some small virtual distance and thereby to deflect or displace the structure concerned, the shape of the deflected or displaced structure will be to some scale the influence line for the force or reaction component. So there are three key components in this principle. The first component is to remove corresponding restraint. The second component is to apply a small or virtual distance to the point where we remove the restraint. And the third component is to look at the deflected shape, which to some scale represents the influence line. In order to demonstrate this clearly, the small displacement will be exaggerated so that we can see the deflected shape more clearly. So here we look at support A and the support B. Assuming that support A is a hinge support and support B is a roller support. So this represents a simply supported beam. Now to construct the influence line for RA, which is the vertical support at point A, what we will do is first to remove the corresponding restraint. So the corresponding restraint for RA will be the vertical restraint here. To remove that means that this point is able to be lifted up or it can come down. And if we apply a positive action where the upward is positive, then we will see that this support is no longer the vertical reaction, vertical restraint is no longer there, and we can push it up. So point A now can be lifted up or it can come down. So the original hinge support now can be represented by a sliding roller where point A can go up and down, but cannot go left and right. So now if we apply a positive action, a small displacement at point A, then we will see that the structure now is deflected. If we apply a positive action at point A and let it to deflect, then we'll see the deflected shape looks like this. And this deflected shape represents the influence line for RA.